guys welcome back to my channel so I'm here with Miss Annabelle so I have her in this video because she's awake and hopefully she keeps it together but in this video I wanted to basically talk to you guys about like a budgeting update um, this is gonna be more of a lifestyle video so I know a ton of you guys have been interested in just like um, how we budget how we were able to pay off our debts I did a video a few months ago which if you haven't seen it I will link it somewhere on the screen and down below for you guys but it's basically how we paid off our student loan debt of around 40,000 um, we did that in I think um, it was like a couple months under a year so we really yeah. hustled and we really tried to like pay it off as fast as we could just to get it out of our way being a newly married couple and ever since we put that video out or ever since I made it I've been just getting a ton of questions like through my email I get like at least a few a day so questions like asking, you know, how we did it, what ways we budget, if we have any additional tips for you guys, since a lot of you guys, you know, live in America and most of us have student loan debt, unfortunately. So I wanted to do like an updated video, share with you guys a few like money saving hacks um, and just like where we are at right now. So before we get into the tips, and I'm going to do a little bit of a Q&A on Snapchat a little later into the video. Um, I want to tell you about this app that I've recently been introduced to called Ernie and Ernie is actually sponsoring this video. So I just quickly wanted to go over the app and why Doug and I use it all the time and we swear by it. So basically Ernie is an app on your phone and it's almost kind of like your personal assistant for like basically finding you deals. It was very interesting. When I first heard about it, I was so intrigued. So this is what basically the inside of the Ernie app looks like. And Ernie actually protects you up to 30 days for over 30 plus major retailers. Users can extend this protection up to 90 to 120 days by linking a price protected credit card. And then they also offer two kinds of protection. So the first one is the retailer price protection, which is up to 30 days. And the second one is a credit card price protection, which is up to 120 days. So they basically just search for price drops throughout the email receipts in your inbox. And then when Ernie finds a lower price on any of your items, then they will file a claim that gets you the refund either issued directly back to your card or via a check in the mail. I am not about to go to a store or go online, buy something, and then, you know, a month later or two months later, try and see if the price is dropped. I just don't have that kind of patience or time. So the app is completely free and you actually can also just sign up online if you don't want to get the app directly. And as you guys know, my husband, Doug, he is in SEO. He's in like the online marketing. He does a bit of coding on the side um, and things like that so he is like hyper aware of things being unsafe and certain programs being safe so we totally did our research into this app and like online websites and Doug has deemed it completely safe they don't like save your credit card information because I know a lot of you guys might be worried about that and they're just like I don't know they're Norton secured so they're definitely a safe app to use if you guys are worried about that that has really helped us in like just you don't know having more money at the end of the month so definitely go ahead and check out the app I will leave it below again it is free so it's free to check out if you guys just want Want to download it but let's go ahead and get on to the update um, about like where we are at right now if we're gonna be moving what kind of cars we're gonna get and things like that and just like the stage of our life because I think it's fun to document and it's something that I would be interested in watching and I always want to make videos that I would want to watch um, so yeah let's go ahead and get into it I know a lot of people aren't like as open as I am about finances and I haven't always been like this usually I was very tight-lipped about it I mean I was like most people I didn't talk about it at all um, but I just found like the number one thing that has helped me pay off that amount of debt along with Doug um, and just like help be like more like money conscious and like plan for my future is being transparent about it with my family and friends and obviously YouTube um, just because I find that sometimes if you don't want to talk about it if you don't want to talk about like your debt and trying to save money it's just easier to sweep it under the rug like personally and you can just kind of like ignore it so yeah when your friends ask you to like go do fun things and spend a bunch of money with them or your family members um, it's hard to say no because they have no idea like the situation you're in so yeah that's kind of why I'm like more talkative about it and more open about it because I feel like it helps keep me transparent and on track okay so you guys know if you watched my first video on like paying off our debt that we were really rigid and we were very strict on the Dave Ramsey method so I know I've preached about him before and I'm sure a lot of you guys have looked him up and actually know that a ton of you guys bought his book which is so good but his main principles are buy everything in cash including cars so don't have like car loans 
loans, don't have payments and things like that, um, and also live kind of like a scorched earth life, which is very unappealable, but I promise you, obviously it works because it worked for us. Um, so when he says like scorched earth, he means like do not go shopping, do not go out to eat, act like it's the end of the world and you have no money. So if you do that for, you know, however long you need to, it's just like so much faster when you get, um, you know, financial freedom and free from like the chains of debt, which is what we were under. Annabelle's already getting cray. She wants to see herself in the viewfinder. Um, but anyways, so that's kind of how we lived for I think like seven months straight. So because we were so rigorous and we literally did nothing throughout this past few months, um, right now we're just kind of chilling. We're taking a deep breath. We were basically able to live so much more stress-free, like being out of debt. A lot of you guys are asking if we're gonna do the debt-free cry um, through Dave Ramsey. And while I do like to be transparent about my finances, I'm not gonna be doing it because you tell like every detail of your life. And obviously I have thousands of people watching that I don't really want to know that information. I feel like I did my own debt-free cry on YouTube, um, which reached a lot of people. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, right now we're just taking a deep breath. We're trying to like enjoy life just a little bit more. So, you know, on occasion, I will go shopping and get myself like I recently just got myself a bag I haven't purchased any fashion things like for a long time so the one thing that I wanted to mention in this video that I got a few comments about and I kind of like wanted to address it Dave Ramsey's approach is basically all about like living a scorched earth life and is basically digging yourself out of the debt hole that I was in for a long time um, and then you can kind of like relax he's really good at like focusing on all of those things but I feel like the one thing um, his methods kind of like don't go into which I understand why because he really like simplifies you know getting out of debt and like that whole process and budgeting um, but something that I feel like his program is missing is ways to increase your income which I know is like a whole nother thing but he kind of just talks about like how you should work with the income that you already have and just try and like your hardest to like pick up extra hours um, and like you know work overtime if your job permits it and pay off as much debt as you can and while I do agree with that method obviously it worked um, I think like something that we can really focus on as far as like Doug and I right now is being our own boss and really I mean just not even having to worry about like large payments like we would have before and really trying to up our income to a place that is a comfortable living in Los Angeles which can be hard sometimes you guys know if you live here um, so that's what we're trying to do right now there's three things that Doug and I are currently focusing on and the first one is building a business for ourselves so I want to get to a place where I can travel the world and not have to answer to anybody um, I'm kind of already at that place because I own my own business, but Doug is trying to get there. Um, so that's what we're doing right now. I want like complete financial freedom and Dave Ramsey doesn't really talk about that. He just says like, oh, get a better job or increase your income. Just do whatever you can. Um, but I want like time freedom. So we don't want to have to answer to anybody. So that's probably going to take a while, but that is our next goal. The second one is basically owning our own house, which obviously is most people's dreams who rent. And as much as I love um, like where we live in the South Bay by the beach in LA, we, I mean, it's so expensive to live here. Like you can't even hardly buy a house that's decent for a million dollars. So at least in our neighborhood. So the last thing that we are looking at is buying a car. And it's funny because when you get used to a life of living like kind of like scorched earth and not buying anything, you really get used to not not like needing material things it's such a cleanse like even if you're not in debt you should try it because it just completely shapes your perception of the world and like what you actually need to survive like there's just so many things I thought I needed but I don't so anyways I always assumed that we were gonna buy a car right after we save for our emergency fund but under Dave Ramsey's method he basically says that you need to buy your car in cash which is what I believe I think like once I started to realize like what it was like to not have payments and to just live like I don't know just to live more freely I realized I don't need a fancy car while I do love cars and I would love to have a car one day, I have other priorities like getting a house, starting a business. And since we don't really commute that far, we don't really go anywhere, honestly, in our car I and mean, we don't travel far, it's not totally necessary for me. And I think I've realized that once we started to pay off our debt um, and I realized just like I could live on less. 
So yeah, that's kind of like what we're doing right now. Um, a lot of you guys always ask about like what car we're gonna get and stuff, but we definitely have more like, I guess like bigger plans than just like getting a car. One of the best Dave Ramsey quotes that isn't just like for people that, you know, follow his plan, but just for people in general and something that I have lived with for the past year that has just really motivated me. It's basically a quote that says, live like no one else so you can live and give like no one else later. So that means like live on less now so you can live like no one else in the future. So when everyone else is like still, you know, trying to just live paycheck to paycheck on debt or in the future when everyone else is like working nine to five, you can possibly, you know, be financially free, work for yourself. Um, whatever that means in your life I think it like applies to so many different areas in life so yeah I love that one so I think that's about it for like my update I wanted to answer some questions on snapchat okay so this is Madeline May she says what's the best way to limit yourself a certain amount of money also how do you guys limit yourself to eating out a lot I'm the worst at grabbing fast food every time I go into town if you guys watch our recent vlogs Doug and I ate out all weekend so we are not pros at that at all um, but I feel like now that we are on like a good path we can eat out and it's not going to really like do anything too bad to our budget. But the best way that we found to limit ourselves a certain amount of money um, is basically what I would do is every time Doug got paid or every time I get paid, since I get paid like little bits throughout the whole month, we would pay our bills and then put the rest to like our debt. So, or, or emergency fund or whatever we were doing. So we would basically have to just keep checking our bank accounts. And if there wasn't enough to eat out, then there just wasn't enough. So I know that's like a very like extreme way to do it, but that's how we paid off our debt. And there's just literally no option when the money is either like in a money market account where you shouldn't really be touching it all the time um, or you can't be touching it or if you have already paid off your debt for the month and there's none left over. So it's definitely a scorched earth way of thinking about it, but that is how we did it. This is from Melinda Bragg. She says, my husband and I have about 30,000 in his student loans. We watched Dave Ramsey and I love it. Did you guys use every dollar? We are newly married and trying to balance budgeting while also furnishing our apartment. So we did not, well, okay, we started using every dollar and then I dabbled and minted. Um, but like I said, I mean, everybody pays off their debt and budgets differently and it just depends person to person. To be honest, we didn't use those apps as much or those websites. Um, yes, Annabelle's chewing on my lens cap. Um, but yeah, we did not really because, I don't know, we just didn't. Doug likes to do it his way. So Doug actually made an Excel sheet himself. Um, because it, we just found it easier that way. We could share it between each other and we just did it that way. Um, my friend is actually doing it and she's doing the envelope system. So she basically like goes to the bank every month, pulls out money and puts it in each envelope. So she has an envelope for eating out, for makeup or like extracurricular activities, literally an envelope for everything. So that is a good way if you wanted to like simplify it. Um, but yeah, we just use an Excel sheet. So this is um, from another person. She says, how much money do you put in your savings is it just for emergencies from Adrienne Nared so for emergency funds according to Dave Ramsey and kind of like what we follow you're supposed to put I believe it's three to six months of expenses so like total expenses so we basically put in five months of expenses so that's five months of rent five months of health insurance five months of eating out um, what else like groceries and just like any kind of bill I'm holding Annabelle because she's getting so fussy so yeah we saved a really big chunk of money in that fund um, so yeah we thought five months was a good amount but it depends person to person this one is from Madison Myers 12 she says monthly expenses for your daughter what is rent for a two-bedroom apartment where you live what would be your monthly expenses for your home be compared um, so monthly expenses for Annabelle <sighs> We, now that she started to eat like a ton of fruit and food, mm -hmm. it's definitely gone up a lot. Like I underestimated how much it goes up when they start eating. It's not a ton, but it's definitely more than just like if she was on like breast milk and like a little bit of formula. I don't remember the exact number, but I believe it was around like one to $200 a month. So it's not a lot of money, um, but yeah, that's how much we budget for her. But I think it like depends. I honestly don't remember. So rent for where we live in a two bedroom apartment is around $2,500, um, 25 to 3,000. So yeah, it's a lot of money and that's why we wanna move out of this area eventually. So the last question is from lovebug0327. 
she says what are some ways I can make money while going to school okay so as far as like what you should do in college to make money I highly recommend doing something that has like something to do with your degree because it is very important to get a degree I b totally believe even though I did not use my degree I, I still a hundred percent wouldn't change it for the world even if I did have to pay off my loans because having a degree like completely like shapes you as a person um, with that being said I don't think that you should just you know go through college like working at restaurants this is my like personal belief I know you can make good money in restaurants or like uh, you know at clothing retail stores or whatever but when you get out of college and you try and get a job the jobs want to see job experience they don't even care if you've been in college for the most part so so try and do something with your career, even if it is interning on the side and you're working at a restaurant. Um, when I graduated, I had a ton of like actual business experience because it's something my dad always taught me to do. And I got a job like that. So that is very important. So yeah, I can't really give you a definitive answer on that because it does depend on like the career path you've chosen. Um, but if you want to email me, I can like chat with you and we can come up with different ways, um, like different kind of job options. So yeah, that is everything I have for this video. She keeps making crazy noises, so I'm gonna hop off. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the Ernie app below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys, say bye.